Good morning. My name is Jean and I am a knitter. And I was hoping to be able to tell you I'm going to start on my toe up socks, but I had an attack of life this week. <clears throat> I got called out of town for two days and I had to drive six hours one day and then turn around and drive six hours the next day. And that means that I'm driving, I'm not a passenger, so I don't get to sit in a passenger seat and knit. I finished one sock completely, ta-da! And I have never had second sock syndrome. Um, I think that's because one of my first projects was mittens, and then I did a long sleeve turtleneck sweater, and I have really long arms, and my mother had me knit the sleeves two at a time, and oh my word, I didn't think I was ever gonna finish. Well, now I am working on my next sock, and I've turned the heel, but I haven't gotten very far down the foot, and then my dog had a negative reaction to his most recent vaccination and I ended up in the emergency room with my dog last night um, <clears throat> and it took up a good chunk of the day and I tried to do some knitting in the emergency room but they kept coming out and going back and coming out and going back they were very good they were very thorough. He's got um, a prescription for Benadryl. <laughs> I have to cut the pill into four pieces and give it to him one quarter at a time, twice a day. He's a little lethargic, but he's going to be just fine. They tell me to make sure he has extra water and extra time to go out to pee. Well, if he needs that, he can have it, that's minor. Um, but I am obviously not finished with this sock and I don't wanna start a toe up pair of socks with an old pair of socks on the needle. So probably within the next two or three days, I'll finish those and start on the toe up socks. Now, I'm thinking this ruler will work as well in a toe up sock as it works in a cuff down sock because I'll put the toe here, have my knitting come down and then have a number measurement that I can use because I read through the pattern. I'm going to show you the pattern that I am using. And I will um, try to put a link to it. It's on a Ravelry, but it is a free sock pattern and it is a toe up sock pattern that is, um, you have a choice of your heel flap and you have a choice with, um, you have different sizes. I'm going to make a medium and the trick I understand is when you've got to start with the increases because if you start at the toe, you get to here, which is where you ended your ankle shaping, and you have to start your ankle shaping. So you have to know how long from the toe to the ankle you need to be. Well, all I need to do is put a ruler on top of it and I can measure the number of inches and then I can use my sock ruler to measure and know and I'll write a note on my pattern. Um, a while back, I was talking about doing reviews on some of the knitting software that you can put usually on a portable device like your iPad or on your phone um, that will help a knitter. I will say my, I'm using the free version which has limited access for Knit Companion 
and I've just found a list of um, recommended knitting apps from a website called All Free Knitting. However, many of them I've already got duplicated in my book collection back here. Um, what you can't see behind this, when I started looking for a toe-up sock pattern, I looked through my sock pattern books, one, two, three, four, five, and only this one is all cuff down. This one is um, a mix, but very designer, and I need a vanilla one to learn the technique. This one is, um, no, this one was the designer one. I'm sorry. Um, this one didn't have a bland toe up sock. This one was lots of fancy designer things with entrelock and, and intarsia. I can do both of those, but I don't wanna do that on a toe up sock. This one, cuff down entirely. This one, cuff down. So only one of these books had a portion of the patterns that were toe up and none of them were vanilla. Um, this is just the sock books that I had in my library. I didn't check any of these out. I own all of these books already. Um, so I went online and I had actually already saved in my favorites and put in my library the Vanilla Sock with Gusset and Choice of Heel. And there are nine pages in these directions because it is really, really thorough. And there's even a worksheet included in the directions that tells you how to calculate to figure out a custom pattern. I am just going to follow the vanilla pattern for a size medium because that's pretty close to what my foot is. I will be using yarn that I already had that I really like, but this is, oh, there you go. Already in a cake, but what I do is I wad up the label and I put it in the middle of the cake so I don't lose it. And the yarn is uh, Queensland something, um, uh, Euro Yarns, but it's called Rainbow Beach. And it is an Australian superwash wool. And superwash for socks is great because that means you can throw them in the washing machine and they're not going to turn into a wad of lint or something that would fit Barbie because I'm not Barbie and I stopped knitting stuff for Barbie in elementary school, although I did knit stuff for Barbie in elementary school. So that's where we are. I have a pattern. I have a free pattern. You have to be on Ravelry to access it through the link that I will try to include. It is called the Vanilla Sock with Gusset and Choice of Heel. And the designer is Joe Tor. And I am ever so grateful that even in this font, I, because my name starts with a J, can tell the difference between a J and a T because in the Celtic fonts, this type of font, the T and the J are really terribly similar. And I know this because yes, at one point in my life, I studied some calligraphy. <sighs> so my puppy is okay. I had an attack of life and I'm not starting my toe up sock yet, but I hope to do that soon. So I did try to keep knitting, but sometimes life does get in the way and 
I'll be honest, my puppy is much more important than my knitting. And it'll all be okay in the end. I will find the time, I will get that done. And that's cool. <sighs> it's been quite a week. Um, there's good news in the future, but I can't tell you yet. It's not official. If I tell you and it doesn't work out, then it's a problem. Or not a problem, but maybe embarrassing. In the meantime, keep knitting. Life will attack. Keep your knitting with you. You can do it.